So can, do we, can we imagine Agatha sat on this bench going... With a notebook. With a notebook going... Having done the walk and gone yeah. 10 minutes from the lodge, she needs 15 to be, minutes from the needs house. She to be about 10 or 15 minutes from the house, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's perfect. It kind of is. It's absolutely perfect. The road's called Brooklyn Crescent. Yes. Um, it's quiet, but you have to be quite well-to-do to be it's here. It's very quiet. It's, it's very good for recording podcasts. <laughs> so... Well done, property developers. It's it's a little little slice of the nineteenth century. Behind in, us, there's uh, a house Cheshire. here with um with a vegetable garden with raised beds. Yeah, you were very excited because oh, you thought they were growing spot marrows. A marrow. in there. Yeah, you thought they were growing <laughs> marrows in there. You did find uh, so you know Doctor Shepherd is a, is a slightly ropey. Well, it's professional interesting man. because we came to the same location we by did. different routes. We did. I came via the OS map from the logical historical route. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I came through the gossipy. Fine, <laughs> I came through the gossipy. Yeah, where do the seemingly respectable <laughs> but slightly dodgy people yeah. live in this town with money problems? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I found on uh, BBC News site, BBC News, uh, two thousand and fourteen. Right? Yeah, a solicitor from Greater Manchester has been charged with stealing more than six hundred and twenty thousand pounds from his clients. Wow. Police said Andrew John Taylor is accused of 14 counts of fraud by abuse of position of trust. It follows police raids on his practice, Andrew J. Taylor solicitors on Wilmsrow Road, and his home on Brooklyn Crescent, Cheadle. So we've now got a solicitor, not a doctor, but who's with money issues. So it, it works for Marrows. It works for Marrows. It works for dodgy professional men. Yes. It works for distance from... Um, Abney Hall. Fernley Park, Abney Hall. Yeah. And, um, it, wor- and it works because it's called the Larches. It works because well, it's, it's called, called the, the Ferns. ferns. The Larches. The Lur- the Larches. The Larches, the Ferns. Uh, I'm calling it this. I, if you live anywhere near Brooklyn Crescent and you haven't read Roger Ackroyd, you need to read Roger Ackroyd and you need to say to yourself, I'm a neighbour of Hercule Poirot. Nice. Isn't that exciting? Very good. Mm. 